Hello there, my name's Andy from Degorio's Grotto, um, and welcome to this other video, excuse me for just moving, um, regarding uh, some, just some games that I played on CCL. Now, uh, we spun into um, a human team um, with a, a, a very inexperienced coach, um, and I just wanted to show you <laughs> something I'm actually quite proud of, um, and something I'm hoping, you know, with, sort of to learn from myself. Um, again when facing inexperienced coaches so we start on turn one which wasn't fantastic for me um, it's it's pissing rain um, we are the undead and we're facing a human team so what I was looking to do was to try and um, uh, obviously just um, work out what I'm going to do for this half so uh, I'm defending um, the ball's deep in his half um, I'm thinking I'm just going to keep this guy at bay. That's it. Nothing more than that. Um, get a cheeky dead. Which the guy appos, which is amazing. Um, just a lineman with only two um, star player points. So I'm not sure why he did that. But yeah, quick cheeky death. Um, surprised it didn't... Oh, yeah, because he appoed him, didn't he? That's right. So I didn't get him as a zombie. So um, this, these are the early stages. I'm just, uh, just you know, keeping the guy at bay. Um, I'm not really sure at this point what he's going to do. So we're just going to see what he, what he, how he works out. But right from the start, we're looking at this weird eye-shaped um, defense, which isn't very good because I can still hit him. Um, and you know, tag out some of his guys there and hit him at least with a one die. You know, if I can get um, a, a guard piece on there, um, then I can hit him with a two die. So, not fantastic. Um, but then the guy does something completely bizarre and starts to, to max out the side of the flank here. Uh, so, our right flank, his left flank. Which I found a bit astonishing. Okay, so he try he he bulks out his um, defence a little bit there, and I'm thinking, okay, what we're going to try to do then is surf some of these guys. So that was the plan. We'll keep him to the side cage because the side cage works really well for us. Um, it just means we can concentrate more on bashing him as hard as we can. So in comes uh, just. Um, little side block but we you know we've got a strength five piece there he's strength five pieces off the line and we're starting to mark things up uh, we've got a guard piece in there as well to make things interesting still need to be aware that these uh, four guys up here could do a right flank charge and that's what i was worried about so i left a couple of pieces here and a quick piece with the uh, block ghoul so i've got the blodge ghoul there but i do want my other mummy across here this way as well to try and pin these guys against the flank Still thinking maybe he'll do a little switch and dash down the side. Unusually does um, his blitz with his ogre. Okay, let's become my break. Uh, not a problem, but I'm thinking. So I'm going to just pause it here. Um, so this is the plan. He's he's kind of um, committing down this flank here a little bit with the, the, the blitz from the ogre. Um, unless he's faking me out a little bit. So I'm thinking, okay, we're just going to keep pushing it here. That was unlucky, you know, uh, but it's a mighty blow from an ogre on uh, on my mummy. So we're just going to forward it a little bit. I think we need to do it. So I'm still pushing... Ooh. So I'm still pushing down this side. Um, I'll, I'll just let it play out, actually. Kind of a bit of a spoiler there. So he he's kind of committed here, isn't he? A little bit. He's committed half, well over half his people. Um, he's already done his blitz, so he's got no, no um, surfing opportunity there himself. So here comes the ball. So now he's definitely committed his guy to this this thing here, which is another sort of sign that he's not quite. Um, he's quite new. Probably played the AA quite a bit. So this is horrendous he's he's committed all, nearly all his people um and i'm thinking right i'm still going to surf so i'm just going to flip forward and we start to contain him in a little bit of um a little bit of a cage here so he's still doing blitz ogre blitzes which is sucky for him because he's just lonely rolled on a on a goal but he does stun me 
for no effect on his ogre. We're just going to go forward again. I'm thinking, right, now we can definitely surf this dude. Definitely surf this dude. Doesn't quite work out, but look how his people are. They've not tried to break out of the cage at all. Just going to quickly pause it here. So on my turn, I just close the cage a little bit more. He doesn't look like he's trying to break out of the cage at all. Um, he's kind of committed all these guys here. So I'm just going to keep hitting him and keep pushing for those surfs. So I'm starting thinking oh, I'm going to surf this guy. Um, I'm going to bring in some more people now. So we can bring in some more tackle zones. We can smack this dude. Now we can start pushing people towards the side and start filling in those spaces. So we've got a space here and a space here. And there's um, some other bits and pieces. But we can start to pull it around a little bit. Okay, just starting to pull that cage around because we don't want him to actually. Now we've got him in this little bit here. We don't want him to break out of the cage because we want him. We've got him exactly where we want him, really. So we're going to leave him there and just let this happen. So this is the beginning of the end for him. Good hit. Another good hit, but it doesn't surf my dude. Now he's only got this one target left. And for some reason decides to run him out. Blows a reroll. There you go. He's just trying to get this line clear. I don't know why he didn't go for this one here. And blew a reroll, dodging out. So he's got no rerolls left. I'm still not worried. Although my entire line is down here, I'm not worried at all. So we're just going to skip ahead. So it's my go. I've stood everyone up. Now I'm really getting ready to work this. Uh, still got it in my head that that's what I want to do. So get a bit lucky on the go for it. Um, mummy block. Oh, it's really important I wanted to get rid of that sort of stepping stone for him, that ogre. Now everyone's really ready and in place. I'm going to fill that space there. Look at that, all those spaces, lovely and filled. Just that one on the edge, just to keep going. And we're filling things nicely. Lovely. And he goes down there as well. So there we are. So now we're really prepared. Been working on it, working on it, working on it. He doesn't follow up for some reason. I don't know why. He goes for the ogre block again. And gets what he needs. But a very bizarre block. I'm not sure what that was all about. And then tries a, a weird dodge, which because he's got no rerolls, has failed absolutely. So here we go. This is the multi, multi push surf. Loving this. So the first things first. We're hitting with our white here. Uh, sorry, with our mummy. No, it was with the white here to fill this gap. This is what we need. You need this gap filled here, and then we can start the surf process. Down he goes. So that gap thankfully didn't remove him. This is the one. There we go. The mummy to fill that space there. That was the stupid move because he could have moved just in front of that ogre to fill the ogre space, which would have got us another couple of movements. But down he goes. So that's no problem at all. So here we go. So we've got this one here. So we're going to do the zombie into lineman and that's the first one surfed so we've been working towards this for like three four turns and then the ghoul uh, sorry the white to the lineman and that's the second one surfed and then we're going to do the ghoul blitz to the ball carrier he gets the pal and we push another one off and um, we've injured him. So that's three surfed in one turn because we've been working towards it for the last three turns. And we don't catch the ball. And we still don't catch the ball. And the guy's had enough. So, um, 
a little bit of a gloat man, I guess. But also, I just wanted to uh, go over the um, the setup for that. So the guy committed like massively to one side, um, and we we kind of let him do that, and we we wanted him to commit to one side or whatever, and he did. And then we worked towards um, pinning him in place and then filling in the spaces and then the surfing the majority of his people and he was too inexperienced probably the right word or too naive or whatever you want to call it um, to try and dodge out of it and he kind of let it happen really so it was a slow burn but he kind of let it happen with very little counter so you know um, relying on ogre blitzes and stuff like that he got very lucky he didn't bonehead any of those things um, not so lucky when he did the both down and an alone re-roll and he blew his re-rolls really quickly as well so uh, yeah left himself really vulnerable but I thought it was interesting to watch um, obviously just watching someone play someone worse than himself yeah absolutely but also how uh, like that over commitment to one side really led to disaster for him and he had no counter to it um, so there you go just a little video to show you that uh, my name is Andy from Degobbius I hope you enjoyed this video